Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to explain you how to install MySQL database instance on the Ubuntu operating system. So MySQL is the one of the RDBMS database system which will help you to manage your structured data. Right? So let's get started. So I have a installation steps which I am going to follow. So I am going to explain you step by step. Please follow this video. So I'm going to start a terminal window to update my uh, package index. So apt is a package manager which I'm using it in the Ubuntu. So run this command uh, sudo apt update. So it's going to prompt for the password. Just enter the password. The moment you uh, update this package index, you can start installing the your MySQL uh, um, <coughs> RDBMS system or RDBMS server, okay. So for that you have to say sudo space apt space install mysql iPhone server. So this is the package we want to install the Linux package where it is pointing to the mysql server database software. So it's going to consume 241 MB of additional disk space. I, I'm going to say yes to continue. So this will install the MySQL server. So it is installing MySQL server 8. Okay, that's the uh, uh, latest version uh, when I recording this video. So it will take some time based on your internet bandwidth. Just uh, keep uh, watching it. So next uh, is just to check whether the uh, once this installation is done, then we can check the services. It is it automatically creates the Linux service to monitor the uh, SQL server, MySQL server instance. So you can just test sudo systemctl, and then uh, uh, you can just uh, uh, sudo systemctl status MySQL is a service name. So it says uh, active and running. So that means the installation is success. So we'll start uh, uh, running some of the commands like uh, just check MySQL version, my, MySQL space iPhone iPhone version. So it is installed uh, uh, with the version um, distribution version of uh, uh, 5.7.27 and then the version of 14.14. .14, okay. So next what we'll do is uh, we will launch a MySQL client okay sudo mysql so if you uh, face any issue right so uh, you can install this uh, sudo apt install mysql client anyway this will get in automatically installed when you install the mysql servers in in case if it is saying mysql client find the mysql client cannot find then you can run this command otherwise it is not mandatory right uh, then uh, so as I mentioned, the SQL Server version is basically uh, uh, 18 point, uh, sorry, 8.0.34. This is basically a MySQL client version is uh, what, 14.4. Okay, so that is, so we are able to successfully launch this MySQL client. Now we can run some commands to check it. So by default, uh, uh, if you, uh, the default password will be set for uh, root user so we can change this uh, root user password first we will uh, see what is the uh, uh, whether the user details all are uh, available so you can actually query this mysql database there is a database called so you can run the show database command so we have a information schema we have mysql schema sorry mysql and performance schema and sys these are the four default databases which comes when you install mysql instance or mysql server uh, database okay so database system okay so basically it is a rdbms relation database management system so it comes with the three four databases in the, uh, so in the mysql database we have a table called user which actually manages or uh, 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 stores the information about the users so we have multiple users so we are more interested on the root user so uh, that's what we will be using it and later we will create a user for uh, our own um, name with our own name for now i'll go with this uh, root user so 
So by default, it sets some password. So we can actually change this password by running this command. Alter user, uh, the username is root at the red localhost. Identified with the uh, MySQL native password and I was setting the password as data making. So I'll just run this command. So it's done. So you can just flush the privileges. It's kind of refreshing it. And then you can again run this command. So earlier it was empty. Okay, now the password is set. Okay, so <coughs> once that is done, you can just say uh, um, exit from this of CLI client, and then uh, you can also just check the status again. Okay, it's running. So fine. So let's uh, connect with the uh, mysql with the password so sorry mysql with the root user so you can earlier we did uh, sudo mysql it went the default password now we set the password right so let's what we do is we just say sudo mysql space hyphen u which is the root user and hyphen p means it's going to prompt for the password so i set the password as data making so i'm successfully able to log into the mysql instance so we can just this simple command to create a database i'll just create a uh, db. so show databases now additionally we created a ecomdb okay so we can use this db and create the table do all kind of stuffs so in the future video we'll do uh, we will make use of this uh, database and create tables and manage the data the table okay i hope this video is helpful uh, please uh, 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 watch this video uh, in in uh, uh, in detail okay so without skipping any part so i given all the steps to uh, install it and if you have any questions or if you face any issues please uh, put the uh, your questions or comments on this uh, uh, comment section of this video i'm happy to help you thank you so much friends